guys welcome back to my channel i'm glad you guys are back for a brand new video this week this week we're going to be making a delicious agua de tamarindo this is going to be a tamarind water flavor we're going to be making naturally from scratch this is an easy simple recipe that only takes three ingredients for this but before we get started with today's video i just want to remind you to please subscribe to our channel give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it share with your friends if you loved it leave me a comment down below what any other recipes you would want me to make next or any questions or concerns you may have i will respond you back with another comment so for this week's ingredients we are going to be needing brown sugar approximately about one pan of tamarind tamarindo make sure you buy the ones that have the shell and lots and lots of water quantity is going to be to your liking with these three ingredients we're going to be starting the recipe we're going to start off by peeling off our tamarind the easiest way to peel it is just crushing it with your hand all together and then slowly start to peel the sh shells off some shells are going to come in little pieces some of them are going to come on the big chunks they're going to be coming off and you also want to devein them they have those little strings that are going to be around the tamarind you want to take those off as well we're going to do this with every single tamarind that we have you want to make sure that you use fresh tamarind the real tamarind fruit you don't want to use any artificial flavors or tam for tamarind here and there did come out some of the bad tamarinds like this one this one's had holes in it and then the seeds were going dry so i threw that one away what we're looking for is for the fresh dark brown tamarinds those are the best ones i'm going to be giving you guys the measurements for what i did the way i liked my tamarind but you can modify any amounts to your liking you can add less or more of it this recipe that i'm going to be giving you is for about approximately between two and two and a half gallons agua fresca depending to your liking you may add more or less water depending on your liking this water can also work for example if you're going to be having a party you can make the syrup in advance and then finish the rest of the water the day of the party if you guys are going to be making a small get together this recipe quantity would be good for that once we have all of our tamarind peel i'm going to be leaving to a site this is going to be for me for my decoration and video purposes but you can use all of them or you can save some of them as well for decoration not that we have them all peeled and as we were peeling them we were putting them into water you can see that the water has already started to turn brown if we move it it even releases more of the color of the tamarind we're going to cover this water which is approximately about 10 cups of water i'm going to be covering it and put it on the stove on medium to low heat for about 15 minutes boiling what we're looking for is for a syrup mixture 15 minutes later and as you can see my tamarind is already loosey it is very flexible and it has been boiling here on medium to low heat for about 15 minutes we're going to turn off the stove cover it up again and if you're doing this in advance you can leave it that way and for the next day you can continue the rest of the process i'm going to be letting this sit here for about 20 to 30 minutes it should give it enough time to cool down and for the tamarinds to get loosier 30 minutes later i'm going to be grabbing a glove and I'm going to be smashing the tamarinds with my hand. I'm going to be mixing it. The tamarind does have some seeds in it. So where we're looking for is to release those seeds and to get all the pulp out into the water. 30 minutes later, this was still a little hot. So I'm going to be adding a cup of ice cubes just because of the time purpose that I'm recording this very late at night. But if it's still too hot, you can guys, you guys can let it rest there for a couple more minutes to cool down. All I'm really doing is just squishing the pulp tamarind with my hand getting it all dissolved into the water which is going to be our syrup to make our water or agua fresca i'm going to be doing this here for about five minutes i know it's a long time but you really want to get everything dissolved into the water once we have that ready we're going to grab a pitcher with the strainer and we're going to grab our mixture and run it through the strainer to take any unwanted ingredients that we don't want for example the seeds any shells that might have stick with the tamarind and the hard pulp that wasn't able to dissolve into the water we're gonna run everything through the strainer and with the help of a spatula we're gonna be pressing it down to make sure we get all of the water out once we have that we're gonna grab more water i'm gonna be adding about two three more cups of water into this what we're doing with that water is we're gonna be pouring it very slowly into the strainer and with the help of a spatula we're going to be moving what's in the strainer around to help get any good syrup that we might need for the water 
for the agua fresca. The rest of that tamarind that's not good, we're not gonna be adding it to your water. We can just throw it away. If you if you really want to, you can also add this to your agua fresca. Just keep in mind that you are gonna have to eventually strain it because when you're drinking your water, you don't wanna also drink and swallow the seeds. Now that we have our water ready, I'm going to be adding approximately about one cup of brown sugar. I'm going to be mixing it very, very good. Before adding more sugar or adding anything else, I'm going to be tasting to make sure it has enough water and enough sugar. I felt that I was missing a little sugar, so I'm going to be adding about half a cup more and keep mixing it very, very good. The amount of water that you're going to be adding is, is going to depend totally on you. How strong of a flavor do you want it? For about one pound of tamarind that I used, I was able to get between two and two and a half gallons of water, agua de tamarindo, but this is because I liked my agua fresca to really taste like tamarind, but like I said, it can all depend on you on how much water or sugar you want to add to your agua fresca. We're going to continue mixing. Once you feel like you've gotten the right consistency of sugar and water, we're going to grab a glass with ice and we're going to pour our tamarind water. And this is the end result of our tamarind water. Like I said, I was able, I was able to get between two and two and a half gallons of water with roughly about one pound of tamarind of tamarindo i hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe like i said it's an easy simple recipe that it only took three ingredients to make no time consuming at all maybe i was working on this recipe hands-on for maybe about 10 minutes total just to remember every time that you're going to be drinking this water you have to mix it because all the solution all the syrup is going to sit on the bottom and at the top is just going to be water so every time you serve yourself to drink this you are gonna have to mix it and this is the end result for our video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it share with your friends if you loved it i hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe leave me a comment down below if you did with any other suggestions on the video that you would want me to make next any concerns or questions that you may have on this video or any other videos of mine i would reply to you back with another comment as soon as i see it i hope you guys had a good weekend and we'll see you next week with a brand new video bye